updating firmware to a RCT Infini Solar V2 or the RCT um, Expert MKS 5KVA inverter. Um, at the moment on this inverter I'm running 50, uh, firmware U1-5220. I need to get it updated uh, to work with the external BMS box. So let's look at the cabling first. Uh, with the RCT inverters, you always get this communications gray cable with the serial port on the one end and the RJ45 on the other end. This is a standard cable, communications cable for the RCT inverters. Note it's not a standard cable that you will buy online. Uh, the pinout is different on those cables. Um, you have to use the cable that came with the inverter. Then this connector will connect into the older desktop PCs. Um, obviously if you do not have a PC that can connect with the old serial port, um, you need to get your hands on one of these um, converter cables that can convert from serial to USB, which I need in this case because I'm going to use the notebook. Um, so these two cables will join together once they are joined the grace or the networking port will go to the inverter side and then the USB cable USB port that will then go to the notebook so now that the communications cables is detected um, the first thing I'd like to show is if you run solar power or um, watch power on your notebook make sure it is properly closed now even though it is not open on your shortcut uh, tabs on the bars on the taskbar make sure you go to your um, shortcut keys to your right right click on either watch power or solar power and press exit make sure solar power and or watch power is not running in the background because that will occupy your USB port um, causing you not to get communication with the inverter Now when you receive the firmware um, that you need to update, um, they will provide you an SOP on either PDF or Word document um, that you can go through to, uh, to understand how to do the installation. Um, so do keep a, a lookout for that as well if you do find it difficult. Um, you need to look for this blue icon double click on that make sure it automatically detects your COM port if it does not de automatically detect it exit it and just open it up again it has to automatically detect once it automatically detected press update yes and just give it some time to establish Can hear the inverter clicking. Currently, it's initiating. You can actually see the blue bar starting to run, color itself from blue from left to right, and you have your percentage to your right. Um, so now it's just a matter of time to wait till it reach 100% okay so we're basically right at the end um, currently on 97% loading just about done
there we go you can hear the inverter is restarting it will tell you actually give you information update success you can click on ok and obviously exit here coming to the inverter you can press up and currently it's on the firmware I need it to be which is U15232 update firmware update was a success on this um, now when you're done we would recommend one thing open up um, the software for the inverter in question in this case um, I need to run solar power for the V2 inverter You need to wait for the inverter serial number to display in watch power. There we go. The default password is administrator. Once you're logged in, um, click on device control go to re restore to the defaults at the bottom uh, bottom you will see the tab stating restore to the defaults select that and say yes setting successful